had it out this afternoon on a uh, smaller private piece that I have permission to hunt. It's about 20 acres of property. Um, it's kind of a suburban area. It's a really, really good looking spot. This will be my first year in here. And uh, where I'm going this afternoon is kind of a thermal hub. There's a, uh, there's a pond and a small creek that runs through there. And there's oaks on the surrounding ridges. As you can see, there's pretty thick cover, a lot of buckthorn in here. My access is only, I only have to walk about 150 yards into this area. Weather is calling for a west-northwest wind, which I'm hoping is going to blow my scent right down the creek channel. But at least up on top of this hill here, it's not really doing what I want. So we'll have to assess it once I get down there. And uh, I think once I get up in a tree as well, um, should hopefully blow the way I want it to. But yeah, these spots can be really tricky to hunt just because of the swirling winds. But we'll see, see how it all pans out. If nothing else, we're gonna learn something today. This is really some thick stuff here. A lot of buckthorn. Creek bottoms right down here. There's a big blowdown right here. That'll be funneling the deer one way or the other. I'm standing on a faint trail that heads out this way. My wind right here still isn't quite doing what I want it to do. I feel like I need to get closer to that open area where hopefully the wind isn't hitting other trees and whatnot, causing it to swirl. The wind's blowing about 10, 12 miles an hour. I almost wonder if that's too strong. It's causing too much swirling. Might be a bit better off with a light wind. As I'm creeping through here, I'm looking ahead at any possible trees that I might want to get into. There's an oak that should be dropping right over there about 30 yards. And the south end of that pond is right up here about 40 yards. my wind, if it does what it's supposed to, should be coming out this way. I'm hoping this opening, which you can't see very well because it's so dang thick. So I've crept down here. I'm between, what was that pond? It looks to be dried up. In the open area, it's taken me probably half hour to get down here. There's a convergence of trails right here. And then one drop. It's about belt high on me. I haven't seen any fresh buck sign.
So on my way down, I get a text from the landowner saying his wife doesn't want me to shoot the buck that's been coming through their yard, which is a little bit crazy. So I asked him, what does this buck look like? And he said, no idea. So then I tried to clarify, just one buck or any buck? And he said he has no idea. So I replied again and said, can you send me a picture of the buck? And he's working on it right now. So this might be a property to write off. I've been pretty excited about it all summer. I got permission back in the spring. I did some work uh, basically off of a Craigslist ad, some tractor work for the, for the guy and his wife. Really, really nice people. But I, I offered him a discount on the services in exchange for the bow hunting permission. And he said, absolutely no problem. I guess I should have asked him at the time, is it okay if I shoot a buck? But how do you know? You know, public land has its downfalls. But the good thing about it is everybody plays by the same rule book. Private land isn't always what it uh, what it's touted to be. But try to make the most of it. I think when I do get set up here, if a big old doe comes through, I'll probably hammer it. Be some good practice. I don't know. I'll keep you updated on if he sends me a picture of it. I'm hoping it's just like a little four corn. Because if it's a big boy, not good. Not good. So it's been about 10 minutes and I still don't know what this buck looks like that I'm not supposed to shoot. The wind is still doing funky things. I'm not feeling the best about this now. I don't, I don't see fresh, fresh sign. There's some nice trails and pinches down here. I don't know if the deer are in here too much right now at this point in time. So I'm gonna keep creeping up this way. Let's see what I run into. I would imagine there'll be a there should be a scrape right up here by the looks of it on the map. It's so thick. I'm actually cutting a path through here to try to be as quiet as possible. So I'm on the east side of that meadow now. Here's the creek to my north. It's odd because the wind is out of the northwest west but right here where I stand right now, it's blowing straight out of the east, which is actually good because as I keep creeping up here, it'll be in my face. There's some doe tracks back behind me a little ways. Other than that, I haven't seen a ton of fresh sign. I don't hear much for acorn drop either. And I haven't been able to glass any up in the tops. Huge white oak above me right now. I don't see any acorns on the ground. All right, got an update. So, his wife sent me a picture of the buck and it is a nice buck. Looks to be a mature deer, probably four or five years old. He's got a big body. His rack is nice. I definitely shoot it 
but it's not a, a monster monster. So, I don't know. If he comes through, we'll get some good video of him and we'll make for a good video you guys can laugh at my expense. But uh, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So I'm just about to the far east side here and I'm not seeing a ton of, of deer sign. It's about 5.30, I think it's dark at about quarter after seven. It's thick enough, I can just hunt on the ground pretty much anywhere, I think. There's a couple of bigger oaks just right up here. About 25, 35 yards. And it sounds like there are acorns dropping. Those are the first acorns I've actually heard drop. So I'm gonna creep up here. And if I find acorns there, I'm gonna set up nearby. I don't know, these, these hubs like this with ridges all around you, it's so hard with the wind. It seems like every spot I've gone, I got the wind blowing at my back. Right here, it's been okay for the most part. So, probably gonna end up chalking this this night up to a learning experience, but you can't win them all. And now I know, heading into next year. So I've crept up to these oaks and they are dropping acorns. There's some empty shells here. Either squirrels or deer have been eating them. Got a chipmunk right here. And at the moment, the wind is kind of doing what it was forecasted as northwest coming this way. So I got this oak dropping, and I think that oak up there is dropping. No, there's a bear tree right there, which has no cover at all. But I see right over here, right up in that tree. I won't even have to get that high, but it'd be about a 20 yard shot to the base of each oak. So I'm gonna creep up this ditch here a little ways and get up there, get set up and we'll see what happens. All right, so I've crept up here. This is that bear tree I was talking about. I'll stick out like a sore thumb in that thing. It's a really nice trail actually right down here. Running this way. But the tree I'm gonna get into is right, right there, that thick one. I'll set my saddle on the back side here. I'm only going to go about 12 feet up and uh, I'll be able to shoot down here pretty well. But this is the first kind of open spot and there's brows on, uh, on the bushes and stuff so it does appear there's some deer activity right in this area. So I don't know. I'm kind of hoping a big old doe comes through. I'm gonna smack her. I don't know if I'll be back to this spot knowing they don't want me to shoot that buck. I don't know if I'd be able to control myself. All right, finally all set up here. It's a little bit after six o'clock. So it took me about hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to get down in here. Only like 300 yards from my truck about 15 minutes to get up this big oak tree. So what we have going on, got a big oak, big oak, big oak. And if we swing around over this side, there's two, 
two big oaks over that way. And they're raining down acorns, which is good because this is the first spot in the woods where I've found acorns falling. I got the wind. The wind is at my back right now. It's blowing like east, northeast, straight up this gully, which isn't the greatest, but I would anticipate bucks to be bedded over on this point over on this point and either one should funnel down here to these oak trees towards the creek behind me so if I got deer right below me I'm probably gonna get busted but if I can shoot them before they get here here or over here which I should because I would think they'll stop to grab some acorns I could be good Kind of feel like this hunt is a bust a little bit uh, down in the dumps about the fact that I'm not supposed to shoot that one particular buck. I'm worried that even if it's a different buck that it might upset the property owners. I need to clarify that with them. So right now I'm pretty much just on doe patrol and I only have about an hour of light left so it's prime time right now. So I'm gonna put the camera away, keep my eyes open. I can only see about 40 yards in one direction and maybe 25 yards behind me. So it's probably gonna happen quick.
this at 715. Just arrowed a big doe about five yards below me. Shot felt good. She ran about 60 yards up the hill. And I can hear her wheezing. And then after about a minute or two, she came flying back down the hill. And I think it was her. I think it was her death crash. get down here in about 15 minutes get my light on and see what the blood looks like see if I can find my arrow I had a window where it basically was just her vitals exposed so I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it was good alright I found my arrow it's got a little it's got bubbles in it can't see it real good. There are little bubbles. Doesn't smell. It smells like good. Long hit blood. It's real pink. So we'll take up the trail here. I think I know where she's laying. I think I heard her crash just maybe 50 yards away, 40 yards away. She kind of did a big semicircle. I'll see if there's a good blood trail here and just track her, just to be safe. There was three other does with her, so I just want to make sure that I'm following the right one. Alright, so I got blood. It's bright red, there's bubbles in it, so we'll take up the track here. I found her. The, uh, yeah, she crashed right where I thought I heard her. Only maybe 40 yards from my stand. Kind of did a big half circle. But, uh, yeah, the blood trail wasn't the best. Um, granted, it's dark. But, uh, felt like the shot was good. And I uh, was pretty confident in it. But, this is definitely a big old mature doe. So we'll get her taken care of here and the work begins. But we got fresh back straps. Oh yeah. Fun starts. Thank you. 